Welcome from the desk of Chris Doran again. I'm Chris Doran, of course. I want to show you something which is really good news, and it took me quite a long time to really grasp the importance of this. When you're thinking about growing your business, whatever your business is, it doesn't matter. But most businesses haven't got a clue about this one number, which takes a bit of digging around to find it, but it's a very important number. It's a sum, it's a, an amount of money. And you're going to do this because it makes all of the difference or it can make all of the difference to your marketing and how you drive your business forward. It's a very, very important number. And it's called the lifetime value of your customer or your client. If you take in a customer and they've, paid, they've made a once times purchase of say £100 and that's the, the lifetime value on day one because they've just made one purchase. But hopefully you're going to be doing some uh, after the event marketing, after the sale marketing, and you're going to get them to come back again and buy some more uh, material off you, meal, product, service even, anything off you. And if you can measure that because you've recorded that sensibly, <clears throat> and it's just not a once times purchase, but they come back regularly because you're doing more marketing, you will build up a customer profile of how much money your customers are spending with you. So, say they come back 10 times in a year and they spend £100 each time, on average, you've spent, uh, they've spent with you £1,000 and you work out your profits on that. Um, why is that important? Well, how much time and money did it cost you to get that customer through the door in the first place? Because we know through marketing uh, analysis that it's the, to get the customer to buy once in the first place is the most expensive uh, purchase from your point of view, the business owner, they ever make. After you've got them as a customer, if you market to them again, when they come back, it's, it's, it's free business for you in a way because you've already spent that high upfront cost of marketing. So if you know that it's not a once times only purchase and they've spent a thousand pounds with you over a year or whatever period you're measuring, you then can work out, well, if it took me 500 pounds in marketing cost, for instance, to get the customer in the door in the first place to get that £100, you know that it's taking you half a year to break even to get that £500 back. Well, if you keep meticulous records, which I recommend you do, of all of the, um, the, the items or services they avail themselves of when you're providing it to your customers, and you know exactly how much each of, on average, um, a customer is worth by that process over a period of six months, a year, or whatever you're measuring, you then can work out the lifetime value of that customer if you keep doing what you're doing. So if it's over a year, they're making a thousand pounds of the business. Over 10 years, they're making 10,000 pounds. Well, if you know it took, uh, in this instance, I've just ro rolled off the top of my head, 500 pounds to get that customer in in the first place, but it, over 10 years, it's making you 10,000 pounds. Over 10 years, you're making 9,500 pounds profit on one customer and that's the value of the lifetime uh, knowing the, the figure or the value or the amount of the lifetime value of that customer you know that it costs you in raw money or time uh, expense 500 pounds to bring in one customer but over the buying cycle you can extrapolate forward uh, to work out it's going to give you say a thousand pounds a year you can then be much more motivated to spend your 500 pounds because you know over a long period of time assuming you keep marketing to them properly you're going to build up a massive business in in turnover and profit because you understand that lifetime value so my recommendation is go through all of your past records if you haven't already got this figure in your mind don't look at your 500 pounds as an expense do everything in your power to work out how much that expense in real pounds, shillings and pence, is related to one customer. And that's the key figure you need. It's not good enough to know that you're going to bring in, you're, you're, you're breaking even or you're making a profit as you should be on your sales turnover uh, because lots of different customers are bringing you in enough money. You need to work out what the average of one is to... Um, worth to your business over a long period of time and that is the lifetime value of the customer once you know that you can then willingly work out ways where you where you desperately want to spend that 500 pounds to bring in one because they know you know how much it's worth to you later down the line most businesses don't have a clue of the lifetime value of each customer so how can you market and design a marketing campaign uh, to bring in new customers 
at a cost of £500 in this instance, if you do not know where that money is spent by them into the future. So go away and find out your lifetime value of the customer. It's the most important figure you've got practically in your business. If you need some help, get in touch right away. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.